Hello collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. Let's tap in. Let's get a message for you guys. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. What is the message? What is the message? Just on horizons per this lady message. Okay. Expect a message in the distant horizons privilege lady. Alright, in the distant horizons privilege lady, expect some sort of message to come to you. A download maybe about an ending, something coming to an end for a wealthy male. In a courtship with a lover. Expect the income got somebody in despair. That's how they know something is over for a wealthy male courting somebody. Oh, wow. Unexpected income has someone in despair. All in their head about bad health or maybe bad thoughts. A poverty. Being left out in the cold from a family room. Home. Great fortune. So somebody could have paid somebody to do something for some of y'all with the unexpected income and despair. Um, or somebody could have been expecting someone to maybe when they got unexpected money, they was expecting someone to be all in their head or in despair. Like, maybe somebody could be wanting someone to suffer from some sort of mental anguish or something like that. And have them all in their thoughts about them being left out in the cold in a family room. House. Maybe someone in the house has great fortune. Or something about a house, great fortune. Somebody could have paid a thief. They could have got sudden wealth to do something. But it's two men here, main male, main mature male, getting a message of concern about a child or something like that. So you're about to you're about to expect a message to come in to you here, privilege lady. Maybe around December or between July and December, December 28th or July 28th. Take it as it resonates. Or July 12th or July 28th or the 27th. All right. Expect some sort of message in the distant horizons from someone. Because somebody's already all in their head about something. Hmm. Yeah. A court official. Rich man. Court official. Hmm. Let's see what this thing Great fortune, high honor, good lady. A rich man was a false person that could have got paid to do something. Maybe authority paid an authority figure to do something. They was expecting someone to be in sorrow about a court situation with an older gentleman in a house. But now somebody could be sick. Maybe all in your head, like I said, having gloomy thoughts about something. And But they getting sad news that somebody could be marrying someone or someone they married to could have... Uh, Got a return on their investment on the journey they took to steal something from a child. All right. Maybe somebody took something from someone. All right. 
Somebody could be 36. All right, so we got Distant Horizons and Love. A good match, compatible, love affair. So there could be some love coming into someone in the near future, all right? But somebody feels like someone stole a new beginning from them. That's what I'm hearing, too. Okay. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, somebody could be about to move. They have to move. Tell the universe what they want. Somebody could have told the universe they want to move in with their partner or somebody want to change residence. Somebody could have been praying for that somebody move in with their partner or they, they can move in with their partner. It could even be a connection, a relationship or something like that. Maybe y'all are moving in together. Somebody might want to confess what they was manifesting. Maybe they tried to manifest something and it could have backfired. All right. For some of y'all. Okay. Let's see here. What's the message here? Because they thought they was going to get unexpected income, but it didn't happen. So they don't have the money for something. So somebody could have lost a house. Wow. Somebody been bewitched. Could be two masculines, and even if it's like somebody um that's overly caring about another gentleman, okay, it could be an age difference between these two men for some of y'all. Um, the love spells maybe even to get them to see things their way for some of y'all. Okay, so you've been bewitched. Yeah, they'll be back. A narcissist. So somebody's being a narcissist. Yes, go digger. All right. So they'll be back. So somebody, a narcissist could have did a love spell on somebody. Somebody that's still trying to figure themselves out. Someone is too full of themselves. Yes, luck is on your side. This could be somebody that want to use a water sign for money. Maybe a water sign let somebody go, but this person could be trying to stay with them again or something like that. A love spell, they'll be big. So somebody could be doing a love spell to get somebody to come back to them. Could be same sex. In confession, yeah. Somebody wants to confess something. Yes, luck is on your side. Open your heart to attract more love. Love spell, you've been bewitched. They'll be back to confess. So somebody gonna come back and confess something to y'all. Okay. Why something was so challenging to heal from a pregnancy? Because somebody lied. Yeah, because they was in the middle trying to sabotage this. Or why somebody something was very hard or yeah, for some of y'all. Why was something so hard to do some inner work? It was because someone is expecting someone to lie about. Or, yeah, because somebody going to ask you, well, why was it so hard to heal something? Because this even could be uh, making amends or coming to some sort of common ground with an individual. Okay. Right. And somebody want to make a decision or work, need to make a decision. To work on inner healing, but somebody is expecting you could somebody could be expecting someone to lie or be sneaky. Somebody's in the middle trying to sabotage this. So caution, find out more information. Because somebody is expecting someone to lie. Listen to your intuition and move on. Because it's not the right time for some sort of vacation with a narcissist because a cycle, karmic cycle could have came to an end. To add have a new beginning, fire sign could be being patient. All right, they're trying to let go of what they manifested because somebody could have lied about what somebody was saying. So say somebody was manifesting something and the person, you could have, they could have lied about something, okay? <laughs> I don't know, y'all, this is well, yeah, but somebody got evidence that their actions is catching up to them. So you this may not even be in y'all face right now, okay? So in the distant horizons, you won't get a message to hear about this. 
listen to your intuition because somebody going to come towards someone lying, okay, about something. But they are expecting it to be challenging. Somebody is expecting something to be challenging, though. Because you're going to think they're lying about something. Or somebody going to know they're lying about something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because this could be a person that's always playing games. All right. Sharp tongue. Hmm. Yeah, so somebody can't really cuss somebody out because they know it's true. Whatever somebody is saying is true. All right. Like somebody could even want you want to go back and forth with you. Somebody gonna be so haughty. Okay. Because somebody did something when it was time to heal a situation. And somebody just gonna have egg on their face. I don't know. I just see somebody like, oh my god. And this could be the person that lied about something to you or to another person, just to cause challenges. Why are some challenges? What challenges? Hmm. Challenges. Low vibrational energy. Make a decision to work on inner healing. Low vibrational energy in the reverse. They did. Eighth house. Somebody. This could be your divine partner. Your divine partner feels like you're gorgeous. Alright. But somebody. Fourth house. Maybe something about someone's fourth house. There was a group of there. But somebody changed. If somebody was low vibrational. Somebody's changing now. They're elevating their vibration. So it's no longer challenging for somebody to raise their vibration. Challenges. Somebody had no limit to how far they would go. To get things to go their way. Mm. Sorry about that, you guys. So, challenges... Working on inner healing, right? But low vibrational inner reverse. So somebody did not have any challenges to work on inner healing. They are healing right now. And somebody is not being a narcissist because that's just what somebody is saying, okay? Because <laughs> they didn't want just want things to go their way, right? But what the bottom of the deck is saying is what this person does for entertainment or what somebody was doing in their leisure time. To an earth angel is the reason why somebody is got, got caught up. Because you're too grown for the childish games. Alright. So there could be a role model that might have some sort of legal issues. Because of they were set in their ways. Trying to get do magic to get things to go their way. Alright. Somebody could have been disloyal to an ex-lover due to their skills or their ranking in society. So you could, if you are the ex-lover here that is not low vibrational and it is what it is. So a person that has a sense of it is what it is, like a person that has a sense of like, you know, I ain't, call, I ain't making no waves and I'm not about to uh, go back and forth with you. Okay, like somebody could be on that energy. Like, I'm not about to go back and forth with you. I'm not about to make no waves with you. Like, I'm going to just keep it all the way a thousand. Like, I'm not hands up. Like, it is what it is. If it don't, if it is, you know, it's something like that. Somebody has a very relaxed way of trying to do something. But somebody may want to drudge up some sort of like battle with somebody. Okay, I don't know why though. Maybe they were saying this that you were low vibrational. Somebody could be finding this out. Challenges. Yeah, so this is something to do with the situation involves someone's partnerships, marriage, uh, or business matters. It could be an enemy depending on the situation. 
So somebody could have a business with somebody or this partnership. Maybe somebody work with somebody. This could be going on in the workplace. Maybe somebody married to someone that could be weird, twisted, and deranged. That has the persona of like a chill vibe or something. But they do a lot of things for clout. Doing it all for the clout and the fame and attention. All right. So if you are, you have some sort of business, somebody else got some sort of business. Uh, or if you a rapper, somebody else a rapper. And maybe somebody needed to get a come up off your name. So they could have been trying to say a lot of bad stuff about you. Um, and somebody could be trying to bring legal issues to somebody. All right. Or they want somebody that people see as a role model to be ostracized is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Someone got something to tell you. Ah, yeah. So somebody might want to confess something because it's getting out of hand, it seems like. Because somebody knows that you don't have any low vibrational energy. Like somebody really thinks like, uh, it's like they want to believe something that's not true. Like whoever it is, I feel like for some of y'all, it's a female and a, it's a man and a wife energy or a, a couple or something like that for some of y'all. Uh, in their mind, they want to believe that you're their enemy or something like that. Or it's like one of them is trying to coach the other one like you were a bad person. But it's clearly seen you're not. All right. Like this person may have a, uh, a big victim mentality or something. But yeah, this is what's been hitting. This person has been hating on you. Praying on your downfall. And it has caused some real problems in their relationship. So say um, this person is talking bad on you, wishing ill will. It's causing problems in their own relationship, but they're blaming everybody outside of them and not looking at what they're doing to another person or something like that. A situation involves constant fighting on thin ice with each other, but still trying to maintain a relationship. Somebody want to confess something. And this is the hidden truths of something. Dreams once had, because somebody could have had a dream, all right? And somebody could be, uh, something about the unconscious mind and their karma, okay? 12th house enemy, spiritual hater, hates on your beliefs, not liking your untraditional uh, and uncomfortable with your spirituality, Whoever this is, that they, somebody is wanting to confess about a, somebody in a toxic connection with that won't leave you alone, energy, okay? Somebody want to confess something. Yeah, it's like you're like irritate the fuck out of this person, demons, and because they're intimidated by you. Uh, and this person, they're intimidated, so they feel like they can control you. And the purpose, this was maybe the purpose had everything to do with everything you owned. They wanted you to be stressed about it. Or something like that. Or somebody is stressed about a reading they heard or got. They realize somebody, yeah, but they trying to act like you're not. This is an energy drainer. The spiritual hater is hiding there in a toxic relationship. So somebody could be hiding the fact that they with somebody toxic or something like that. And this could have something to do with a partnership or business matters. Depending on the situation, this person could be an enemy that somebody with. And somebody know they can't affect your healing because you're not low vibrational. And they regret being this energy drainer with these fake friends that slackers. Somebody could be mad and salty and upset at the, the distorted feminine. Could have been paying people to find out information and realize it was one-sided. This distorted masculine want to be your 
more than friends with you because they could be seeing this person as a gold digger and that's why they have money problems and this is intimidating to this person because they feel some sorts of betrayal when it comes to the situation hmm huh. they'll be back expect to hear from them soon Evidence of a finesse, a smooth talker. Trying to use something to their advantage. So a smooth talker has proof. They want to use some evidence to their advantage when it comes to what somebody was doing on a routine. Or what somebody do for work, what somebody responsibilities are, what their training is, something like that. Due to the fact of somebody growing. They, the truth is revealed that something was fake. So they could have presented some sort of evidence, but it was fake. Okay? This person was really being irresponsible, and they're trying not to take any accountability, like they had anything to do with something. They'll be back. Lies is being, yeah, they got proof that lies was being spread. Mm hmm. They were spreading lies because somebody was stalking a role model. And then they feel like this witchcraft sabotaged. They wanted, they was doing witchcraft to sabotage somebody's confidence that was high vibrational because they were heartbroken that they're getting karma because of the projections. All right. So, somebody is about to come towards someone that got proof that somebody has been um, spreading lies about them. And it's just bad, okay? And somebody like, oh, man, you know? On some now what energy, right? Hmm. Love spell. You can be witched. So, like I said, somebody wants somebody to go. So, the love spell has something to do with um somebody, uh something going in their favor. Or it's people seeing things in somebody's favor. I feel like. Because it comes with this um third party interference. Could be friends, lovers, something like that. So, love spell. Somebody could be doing love spells on people this person on your family situation or um this is like meddling friends and family third party situation meddling people that are intimidated they are trying to betray a earth angel they're intimidated because they want control over you in any way shape or form or somebody it could be one person that's intimidated you know or it's a male and a female but somebody want to control you yeah or they wanted to gain control over the earth angel so they feel like doing this will by betraying you they'll have control like pulling you back in so that they can hurt you and to have you this is this is like a mind game like somebody wants you to constantly be wondering um, what's going on, you know, who, what, where, when, and why, why is this happening? Uh, somebody wants you to feel like something, you did something wrong when it was somebody else or some shit. It's weird. Like with the love spell it's like, they want you to feel bad about something. That's what I'm getting. And it's like, so that they can gain some sort of control. Even though they was the ones that betrayed you. If that makes sense. Okay. Love spell. So third party situation. Somebody's doing love spells. In a third party situation. What's the third party situation? Karma. Because they getting karma. Heartbreak. Heartbreaker. Her love. Love spell. 
third party situation getting karma or is receiving karma for what they did to you the pain that they caused you vice versa you getting good karma so also somebody could be trying to play you in the future with fake love so that they can gain your trust because they feel like this will be serving you some sort of karma He's giving you fake love and then breaking your heart. They'll call it karma. That's what I'm hearing. They want to bring karma to the heartbreaker. The person that everybody wants, but not everybody can have them. Yeah, this person is paying somebody to do this. They could have paid a married person that was a narcissist to do something. But now they crying over you because they was trying to be a moocha. And you knew this person had a split personality. But you walked away and they really can't say nothing because of what the plan was. The plan was to hurt you. That was the plan. There was no other in-betweens. Like somebody could be in a full-blown toxic connection with somebody. And they did a love spell third party to put you in a third-party situation to give you karma because they want you to be hurt. So somebody want to break your heart. Okay? Because everybody wants you, but not everybody can have you. So, what the whole purpose is to break your confidence, uh, your high vibration and your confidence that love exists or you will have love this lifetime or something like that. So, be aware about a message that's coming in to you in the near future. It's because somebody trying to play a game with you and it's, it's unhealthy, okay? They want you to be heartbroken. So, it's like, because uh, they feel like, somebody feels like you have everything else. You know, um, you have peace, you have uh, a good life, you have uh, everything that they would want. So it's like they feel as though like they got to betray you, right? Um, in order to make themselves feel better. Because they feel like you shouldn't have it all. Hmm. Which is strange. Because they're in a toxic connection. So why should you be happy? And maybe what brings them joy is to see you hurt or something. I know that sounds wild, but... Okay. And somebody feel like if you continue to get your heart broke, you'll just be a doormat no matter how you healed. Um, it's like somebody wants you to submit to bullshit. If that makes sense. I, I, that's crazy, but yeah. Once upon a midnight dream, after happiness and hope, say, uh, after sadness, happiness and hope return. And you heard what I just said. I was about to say it backwards because you could be very happy and hopeful right now. They want sadness to return to you. That's what somebody's trying to manifest. They could have been trying to manifest that since uh, 2022. They want sadness and, 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 and hopelessness to return to you. Maybe you had decided to heal that around 2022. Like, stop being so sad about the circumstances that you were in. Um, stop being whatever. And this could have been somebody you were in love with at one point, you know? Um, but this person, you love them, but they, you know, whatever the circumstances is, it went left for this person. Yeah, you have a mighty shield, though, for whatever somebody trying to manifest. So somebody trying to manifest some mental anguish. They want you to feel like you're not good enough or you are so triggers. OK, uh, pay attention to triggers. OK, anything that trigger you 
um, it's not it's like for some of y'all, it's not even real. It's something that somebody is projecting. Somebody's doing a lot of projection, like trying to project you to feel sad about something or trying to project you to, um, I don't know, feel away. Okay. Somebody's been trying to project you to feel a way about something. But it's a false energy, though. I don't... I don't understand why this person would want to project that. Oh, yeah, to gain control over your emotional state. Somebody feel like it would have been, it's easier if you are in a state of guilt, like you were in the wrong. Like, cause this person, no, even though they were wrong, they feel like they didn't do, they were perfect. Somebody felt like they didn't do shit wrong. Okay. But they're receiving karma for the pain they caused you. And then, and in turn, they like, well, if I'm going to receive karma for the pain I caused them, then I'm going to cause them some more pain. Because maybe that's how somebody thrives. They thrive off of uh, unhealthy situations or something like that. Because they are uh, they don't like the way you grew or changed. They don't like your untraditional ways. And the untraditional ways could even be like, it don't got nothing to do with just business. I feel like it could have something to do with your partnerships. Like who you hang out with. Uh, who you would get in a relationship with. Who you would marry. Okay, um, who you would invite over to the house or who you would even consider dating or getting to know. Like somebody is very upset about that because they can't cause challenges because you healed. So all of their efforts is being undone. So they like, fuck it. I'm going to hurt you in another way. Okay. Since they can't hurt you with a relationship. You know, some bullshit, you know, but there's about to be an energy shift. Okay. Cause you rediscovered your, cause there was an energy shift. Cause you rediscovered your individuality. Yeah. And now it's a time for spirit. Yeah. Somebody is not allowing them to do this to them no more. Your Akashic Library is available to you now that it's a time for spirit. 4343. All right. Um, some mirroring numbers could be significant here. Hmm, it's a time for spirit. Like somebody wants to just destroy your hope of existence in some way. Man, yeah. an elder is going to teach you something. How to calm the chaos. So you could be about to... Here's some sort of download now that you're in this leadership position. 2025 is going to be different for you guys. All right. If 2024, 2022, if all of the whole, whatever, it's about to be some sort of powerful energy shift. Because with those koi fish, it's giving even like loyalty. There's going to be some sort of loyalty and peace in your life moving forward. All right. You could resonate with water spirits or you could be a water sign. Um, but something is just not, it's not for you. And it's like somebody is, is like hell bent. They could be a Libra. October 15th could be their birthday. They could be 36. You could be 43 or 41. Like, somebody is hell-bent on wanting you to be in pain or some shit. It's so strange. It's like... They want you to be in toxic connections where there's no love and disrespect and you can't trust anyone. And just real questionable energy somebody wants you to sit in. And it's like, why? Maybe many options. Maybe you have many options here. And you need space from this drama and chaos. So there is definitely, you have many opportunities or many options that could be coming towards you. Whereas though he's going to put you apart from uh, this madness. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, because you're rewriting your love story. Like, you don't deserve to be heartbroken. Nobody does. And if these third-party meddling friends and family members are going to come together to serve you karma, okay? Heartbreaker, just to cause you heartache and pain for however long these people wanted that for you. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of crazy. Sorry about that, you guys, but I had to fix the cards. But you're rewriting your love story. Where it's trustworthy people in your life. All right. You have many options, many ways to rewrite your love story. Basically, how you are receiving love this lifetime. Your ancestors want to maybe even have something to do with writing it down. All right. When it comes to whatever this love is, right? Because uh, there is a good match that could be coming into your life. A lot of friendship. Because this love is, is, is connected to good friends, falling in love, loyalty, uh, real trust, right? Hmm. Yeah, because it's a hot mess at this point in y'all connection or in a situation. Something is a hot damn mess. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is this message for the collective? Hot mess and love term, long term relationships. It's hard for somebody to find uh, long term relationships. Somebody could be doing a lot of reflecting on why. It's hard to get into a long-term relationship right now or experience that or obtain marriage or something like that. Somebody could be trying to figure out why is that? And this could be somebody that has everything, you know, everything else but that. And the reason why is your family, friends, and meddling people wanted you to serve karma, be served karma. Heartbreaker. Maybe they want people to break your heart. Or that's what they get. And these people could be getting karma because they did love spells over people that loved you. To rewrite your love story. There it is. They did spells to do this to you. Mm. Ain't that wild? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? Take it slow. Somebody regrets taking it slow. Yeah. Somebody's in regret for taking it slow. Also, somebody could have wanted you to regret taking something slow and not giving in to them or giving them what they wanted. That's why they did this to you. Somebody wants you to regret not rushing into something for some of y'all. That's weird. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody wants you to regret that. Like you, you because you broke somebody's heart. <laughs> what? All right, for some of y'all. Yeah, because they wanted you trapped in some sort of negative energy. They, oh, Wow. All right, so somebody wanted you trapped. Like, they wanted you to feel like you lost something or something. They wanted you to feel trapped in a mental prison. All right? Losing yourself. Like, thinking it was something wrong with you. No, mind game. Master mind game bullshit. Okay? Narcissist energy. A narcissist tactic. If you ever dealt with narcissists, then you know this is one of their tactics to stall you out. Uh... Have your mind going, like, because you think everything going good, and then they ghost you, or you're like, damn, what's going on? Like, what's the problem? Like, uh, and then you suppose that's when the chase supposed to happen, but you didn't chase this person. You just let them go. And so they like, oh, all right. Well, you won't regret uh, that <laughs> not taking accountability for what they was doing. This is like weird. It's like strange. All right. What else? Holy spirit. 
What else? It's like, you'll rue the day you took it slow with me. <laughs> what else? Oh, man. What else? This is a lot. <laughs> so we got trust, uh, lesson learned, travel, heartbreaker. It's a hot mess. Anxiety. Oh, because infidelity was happening. So somebody opened the gate of infidelity. And they are having a lot of anxiety. Because it's a hot mess. Somebody's heartbroken. Because they did, when they went on vacation with somebody, they learned a lesson. Hard lesson in, in a relationship. Yup. Because you were they missing peace. So this person could have did this to you for some of y'all. Yeah. And you could have been going back and forth. Like, should you stay with this person or should you go? Also, if you did go on vacation with this individual, like, they could be trying to put you in a mental prison and make you feel like they you're not good enough for anyone else. So, fuck this person, y'all. Fuck him. All right. Let's see. What's going on here? Spirit, divine spirit. What is the message for the collective? Ooh. Take it slow, many options in the summertime. Okay. June through August. Take it slow because you got many options. Divine feminine. Okay. Your family could be dreaming or fantasizing. About you, wow, there it is. Because <laughs> it's like, what? Because you have many options now, Divine Feminine. Because your family, your immediate family or extended, it says, could be dreaming about you going through grief and sadness and anxiety and loss. But you grew. The meddling family members that wanted you to have karma and love so if somebody was working on your finances at one point you could approve that and so they put all of their attention and focus on your love life your partnerships your friendships your relationships your your any relationship with friends family kids uh anything like that this these people workplace it, they, they focused on all of that right so they are mad because maybe they didn't think you would take it slow in the summertime between June and August because you have many options, okay? So somebody wanted somebody to be in regret or somebody could be in regret not taking it slow right now because they you can just release them and go choose somebody else. You have many doors that are open and available to you. Your Akashic Library is available to you, Okay. So somebody knows like whatever love spell that this family, friends, people was doing on you, it could be uh, pre presenting bad results for them because people are winding up being heartbroken about you because you're not dealing with no bullshit. That's like, it's like their intent was for you to be all in your head, but the people that could be coming had came towards you on the bull crap is now heartbroken because you really a divine feminine. Okay. So, it's needing space. You could have needed space in this family situation. Because they was trying to take y'all, maybe people take away from each other. And you could be not talking to this person. Maybe somebody family ghosted them. Extended family or immediate family. There's no contact. So, you could be definitely not talking to these people at all. And don't plan on talking to these people. I see. One more. One more. Growth. Wow. In the spring, yeah, you grew. Adding a little spi a spice to a connection closed a gate on this family. Yup. That was trying to interrupt a divine counterpart from coming towards you so you can stay single that's wild meanwhile you were supposed to be in a union with somebody you were supposed to be married by now to somebody april uh and may in the springtime something could have changed you closed a gate or a gate closed for this family 
due to a connection here that's going to come into you long term. Because these family members, these people, unfortunately, we can't choose our family, right? The immediate family, the ones we were born into, and even the children that we have. Um, this gate is closing. It closed. So if these people been doing stuff to you, like right now, and they're like, why the fuck, how are you still growing? Because you grew. It was time to close this gate on these people. Whatever opening they had to your life at whatever point. So in the summertime, you're going to have a lot of options to grow in love, make new friends and stuff like that. And then you're going to wind up getting in a divine partnership and whatever it is, family, they could have been karmics to a long term relationship or y'all had a karmic contract with these people. And it was long term, but now it's over. Yeah, it could have ended in the spring. Yep, because you learned your lesson. That is wild because whatever. Um, but you learned your lesson. Past lessons, okay. It tried they tried to repeat this during the spring with a soul connection because they knew a soulmate was coming towards you that loved you. There was some sort of forgiveness here. But somebody still tried to avoid something, letting it be. Because it was a lot of drama and shit could have went left. Alright? So somebody could have tried to mess up something that was coming towards you. But they got locked out. Okay? Because you grew from something that these people were doing. Yeah, you could be an introvert. Somebody been wishing that you stay an introvert. Like you don't start dating. Like this is, it's so scary for these people. It's like they would die in their sleeps <laughs> if they see you in a relationship and happy. Because they already feel like you, you done healed and it's like you are embarrassing them because of what they had wished for you. And with these people, like it's embarrassing to see you have it all. Right? Respect, love, kindness, freedom on all angles. It's embarrassing to them because they wanted me. They wanted to make your work life a living hell and your partnerships a living hell. And somebody is coming back around to you because somebody had finessed somebody to get evidence. See. Everybody, you know, and they found out some of my people was lying about you. These third party meddling friends and family members and stuff like that. Like somebody put you in a position whereas though it's hard to explain. Right. And if these are people that play with people and emotions, it will be more feasible for them to believe them than you. Right. So. They was hoping that that would last until the day you died because that's what they wanted for you, which is strange, but they're your karmics from a past life, right? And since you healed, you're not at the bottom of the totem pole. It's like you don't even fit in with these family members or this friends group, whoever these people are. So you could have detached from these people, okay? And in hopes of just common the chaos and they was like oh no they don't give a fuck how sweet you are how nice you are they wanted to destroy you yep so they've been praying on your downfall praying that you get separated from an online community praying that you uh whatever nobody would know it was them praying like it's a lot but they intensely watch you online saying little sly shit and doing sly stuff. Growth. What's growth here? But something grew. Yeah, sweetheart. You had some growth here. We have unconditional love, sweetheart. Yeah, and support. This was a bad risk. They failed because you still got unconditional love in your life. And this makes them sick and weak. <sighs> because this is what they wanted for you. 
They was hoping a natural disaster would have you poor, sick, busted, and disgusted. And they had help to do this. Wow. This is stressing somebody out about your growth, sweetheart. They are they don't want to believe you learned your lessons in love. They don't want to believe that you learned your lessons from making any sorts of mistakes that you may have made in the past that you felt like it was a mistake. Yeah, they, they're stressed out. Because they were so optimistic that they would be laughing at you and pointing at you for the rest of your life. They prayed you never healed from any injustice that happened to you. But you did. <clears throat> this growth of a sweetheart has somebody under pressure, stressing, lacking sleep. Because they took this big risk and fell. Also, there could have been a natural disaster that happened. And you still grew from that. I don't know what this natural disaster was. Alright? But it really was supposed to have you sick and homeless. They even had a backup plan. Yeah, because they had a professional that was supporting them with this curse. Like, it was so many people involved. And it was strong energies going on. If, if you had a natural disaster, whatever time of your life, a storm could have hit and you your house got tore up. And God blessed you with a new house, you know? Or some crazy shit happened. They was expecting for you to be... They were sitting back, like, when it happened, because it did happen, they were able to cause this disaster for you. And the next phase was for you to be homeless. But they didn't know you had a lot of options. You could have had a natural disaster between June or July and August. June, July, or August, maybe of any year. I said 2022 could have been significant. But you took your time and they like, oh my God. Because somebody was expecting you to revert back to your old ways when hopelessness hit. And you don't know what to do. Right? They was hoping that they could slow somebody down, but... They stress because this was what was supposed to happen to you. Many options. You chose one option out of many. So they had many options to do this though, y'all. And we got a supernatural disturbance because there was a supernatural force to disturb your peace. That they they chose an entity. That she chose a certain entity. Huh. Does disturb your peace? And a fortune teller was praying that you would suffer and not see who coached this person to get this. So they was hoping you didn't see or know where it came from or something. Many options, so they chose a certain demon or entity to cause some sort of irritate your peace. Hmm. I'm kind of going like this on if I want to give you the in particular energy's name that they used. Hmm. 
to disturb your peace and your relaxation. They thought they had many options to disturb your peace and relaxation with this magic they was doing. Causing you disturbances. <clears throat> also, for you to have many options in love, they caused they wanted to cause a disturbance. What's disturbance to the many options? Do you feel guilty? So they had many options to disturb your good luck and fortune. And they sorry for collaborating with these people. Because whatever ritual they learn, you live and you learn about magic. They're paranoid that they're binded to this because they bribe someone to cause weakness to your money and your peace. And they're surprised that they're the ones that's losing something. They lost the opportunity to reach their goals in love. So it's like a double-edged sword. It's like they stabbed you and they fell on the sword with you. But they're still impelled while you moved on. It wasn't challenging for you to heal from this type of stuff. But it's challenging for them because they harbor so much hate and resentment. Hmm. What happened in the winter and what happened in the summertime? In the summertime, between August, June and August, somebody was in their ego and they was getting money off of something. They would have got money off of something, but you persevered. Yeah, they thought that this was a good idea to collect endorsements from this network or your team. They thought they had a good idea on how to collect money for something. Now this whole team or connection or network friendships are feeling trapped or the victim of because somebody could have lied or pretended that they promoted something here. Maybe pretended it was promoting that they would get victory and success and gain merit if they helped them get their desires on you. Everybody was ready to protest against you, you know. Saying you cause a lot of illusions or saying that you was causing illusions or it was only a fantasy that you was okay. You were really, you weren't really hard at, in peace or something like that. Like somebody could have been saying, no, -uh, no, you're really not. They're lying. They're hiding the fact that they're not, they're really, they're really not at peace. They're lying. This is that. And a third, this is a third wheel enemy, a distrustful friend plan or strategy. This could be a fortune teller that could, uh, that is cursed now. And they could be very much so pissed because they're disappointed that something did not come to an end with people being your allies, even though they cause a lot of conflict. This is somebody that's focused on your shit. All right, so business matters. All right. So this person could do the same thing you do. If you're a fortune teller, they dare a fortune teller. And they wanted people to turn away from you. And they're trying to lie and say, like, oh, no, everything is good. Everybody, we about to get this married. Um, they fucked up for real, and they just trying to hide it. But somebody has evidence and proof that you're really not messed up. You're not messed up at all. You're actually good. <laughs> and this person, they got evidence that this person was just finessing somebody. Or finessing people. Hmm. They was doing this in June, between June and August. This is what the right plan was out of their ego. What's the pride? <clears throat> Self-love sideways. Okay. This person definitely doesn't want somebody to heal or love themselves. Okay. Or have sweet dreams. Okay. What else? Self-love.
and your soulmate could be surprised or a soulmate is now awakened that somebody they married promised they would get good news with you causing damage to your goals and your wishes and dreams with this Sad. Hmm. Yeah, somebody can't be arrogant no more because you still loved yourself, even though this person did all of this. Whoever this is that was in their ego, you still loved yourself, and they can't be even be in their ego. You live and you learn now. About doing magic. Because now this person is paranoid. That is binded to them. Because they are the ones that was tempted to do something. Or they took a bribe. Or whatever. Take it slow. Take it slow. What's taking it slow? Okay. Yeah. They're paranoid. Depressed. <clears throat> Because somebody is being rejected. Somebody feel like they was committed to getting you rejected as well from being married or something. So somebody like, oh no, like you taking it slow. You're not rushing into something. So that means that they can't bind you to something. They paranoid because there was some sort of obstruction, supernatural obstruction, or they tried to bind you to something. Why are they paranoid? Take it slow. Because they can't think of anything else to do. Whatever they created in 2022, it's, it flipped on them. And they have no more control over you. Over somebody's soulmate. They can't control your soulmate anymore, whoever this is. And they got, because they found a proof of evidence that this is what somebody, they collaborated to do this to them, to you or whatever. So now they can't, yeah. They worried now that they're in danger now because they could have got a reading done and found out something wasn't going to end for you. So they could be trying to think of an idea on how to compromise so that they can collaborate with this professional again so they can have support. Hmm, sweet dreams. Without you seeing that, like, so somebody really trying to hide that they're trying to get help from outsiders to dominate a situation or force your hand in some sort of way, okay? And they regret it. Yeah, because now people, their ally could be fighting with them about this plan. I don't know. Yeah, because it was only illusion that somebody would be your third wheel enemy, be a third wheel enemy to an introvert. Like, this is like, if you was extra, yeah. But somebody like, yeah, that's weird. Their ally, like, no, I'm not doing that. Somebody that was their ally, they're like, that's weird as fuck to be a distrustful person to somebody that's an introvert. Like, that's instant karma. Like, it's like, after, you know, like, or be a third world enemy online or something like that in this community. Because they know that that's instant karma. And somebody knows somebody doing some overindulging here just for money. Or because they were so invested in collecting something from you. It's like their life depended on getting something off of your sadness or something. Or a downfall or some strange energy like that. But I'm hearing you. I just heard you don't owe anybody anything. All right. Whatever this is, it's like this, these people just want to be mean to you or something. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work out well. This shit backfired on this Scorpio in the past. 
be a Scorpio from your past that's just mean spirited or something and a Taurus or this is a Taurus Scorpio take it as it resonates but it's it's like a horrible tower moment that you actually took a leap of faith in a new direction it's a sad <sighs> very sad because they've been watching you Empress they've been trying to get out get information on you somebody could be trying to find out where you live what you got going on Somebody could even had a plan to sell your information to the highest bidder and they walking away from that. Like somebody is like, I, I'm not, I can't. Yeah, wow. Emperor, Empress. So this is making way for an Emperor, Empress energy to come through, right? For real love to come towards you in the near future. If it's not already here. Yeah, seven of swords. Somebody always thought they could get away with this. Aquarius energy, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, they felt like if they do something quickly, they can get away with it. Yeah, they wanted you to choose a player. Okay, maybe choosing somebody to communicate with or online. Somebody could have told somebody that it's a over for this king of wands called the imbalances and they mad. Because something got exposed that you are moving forward now with loving your heart. All right. There's going to be somebody getting on your path or something like that. They wanted you to choose somebody that wasn't healthy for you. Their obstacle is getting this money, this queen of pentacles. And they, all the plans they making is like they working together with an emperor or an older gentleman. That's a problem for them to get this money by tomorrow. <laughs> What's the out? Because maybe they get paid if they destroy your connections or something. I don't know. That's dumb. But what's the outcome? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. So somebody's really trying to hold you back or hold on to you or trying to control the situation or you're going to be holding, withholding your energy, time, efforts from somebody. Yeah, and somebody feel like, damn, you changed. I think there's about to be a change from whatever it was in the past. For some of y'all, it could be a five-year cycle y'all was in. If somebody did not want to give up, causing you conflict. It's, it was to deter you from love or happiness or joy. Okay? Seven of Swords. It's coming towards you. Somebody being sneaky or somebody's doing something in quiet or somebody trying to get away with something. What's the two? Seven of Swords. The strength card it could be a Leo. Somebody could have lied about your strength or and somebody found out the truth that you got victory and success already. Or somebody lied about you having the courage to move forward or somebody lied they had the courage to move forward. Yeah, in the near future. But you definitely are have the strength here to hold out for the proper relationship. You did the right thing. You didn't rush something. Okay, so somebody lied about your strength. Like somebody could have been like, oh, you boy crazy, you man, you woman crazy. You just get a relationship with anybody. You want, you just want to be loved and you care what you got to do to get it. Like kind of energy. Somebody like, I thought you said that they was like that. I don't know. They they was always like that. You ch I guess they changed. I don't know. But this is, with them saying that, they should have known. Like something should have, like, uh came to them like yeah so if that changed then anything else that you're planning ain't gonna work you know what i'm saying it's it, it's like it was seen but somebody was like nah nah it can't be it can't be maybe i'm tripping you know maybe they didn't see something correctly that's how they felt but it's like the inevitable right now somebody see it with their own too that you would rather wait for the proper relationship than to just be with just anybody just to say you got somebody and that's like shows strength and grace within you. Yeah. So you could have been on this journey by yourself. Yeah. That's why you're getting this nine of cups. All right. So you waited for this wish. Now somebody could have been wishing they waited because they didn't know you was somebody was going to overcome something here. Somebody wish they would have waited because you still chose the right path at the right time. Okay. That's beautiful. Yeah, Ace of Wands, full card. 
Wheel of Fortune. That's why something is going in your favor. And somebody, damn, they sad as fuck about that. But they thought they was hurting you or something. No, 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 no. My lovers. It's coming towards you as choice and love. A lover, a soulmate. Mr. Lovers. Page of Cups. This is good news. Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. Yes. Ten of Pentacles. Will of Fortune. This is a faded event. Because you really weathered the storm with that Nine of Wands. You had to go through so much Five of Wands. So this is really good news. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. So it's like um, Ace, Page of Cups. Ace of Cups. Good news and love. It's time. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe a family know it's time. All right, for some of y'all, for something from love to come into your life here. So that means that it changed, something is changing in your family dynamic. Empress, look at you. Wow. Somebody caused a stalemate, maybe, or they thought they could be able to cause a stalemate to a king of cups. Maybe somebody walked away or they trying to stall you out, right? Maybe somebody could be, you could have blocked somebody from uh, wasting your time, right? That kind of energy. But your mother could even try to cause a stalemate so that somebody could walk away from you. For some of y'all, it could be like that. But they know it's time for you to have a family or to have a forever partner or something. Because whatever choice and love, this is really good, okay? And it's going to lead to forever. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, or an Empress. Okay, maybe even a child may be born in this situation if you are of childbearing years. Okay? Ace of Cups. I mean, Ace of Pentacles. Their obstacle is the Ace of Pentacles. It's too hard. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. So, somebody could have paid somebody to call you a struggle. But you ghosted this King of Swords. They could have paid the King of Swords to cause you some heavy burden. Or, they could have... Yeah. Somebody to betray you. So that you can walk away from thinking about love, ever wanting love, or whatever. You were supposed to ball up in the in the in the damn, you know, and not want to be in love. What's the ten of wands? Five of swords, and it's like, yeah, they feel like they because they wanted to win at all costs, like because they found out about your status, your fourth house already, and something came to light. All right. Maybe, and you were happy, maybe about a manifestation. Maybe they found out, they thought that maybe they, you were going to, like, fold in on yourself about this situation, y'all. Because they wanted to win at all costs. Like, they would have did anything to keep something going. Yeah. But that was only wishful thinking. It's a missed opportunity now to slow you down from reconciling with someone. Strong, sage. You could be a sage or dealing with one. Earth sign or water sign. Take it as it resonates. Capricorn. The four of pentacles is the outcome now. Somebody's going to be so mad because they did everything that they could to block you from this smiling laughing and you she's blushing like somebody really making her happy and it's like they feel like they're gonna have to watch you be happy with all that green on her her heart is open she's in love and she's grounded and somebody's like hmm. real stubborn whoever the stubborn energy is is pissed and in their feelings all right <laughs> yeah because somebody know that somebody's going to reconcile with someone because they learned a lesson. All right. What is this? Um, Four of Pentacles.
Yeah. Wow. So somebody definitely thought they had some sort of control over this King of Cups, but he walked away. Who the King of Cups? Where are you going? Wow. Because he knows something. Yeah, he know the truth about something. A King of Swords could have messaged somebody and told him, like, yeah. The King of Cups could have went with him. All right. So they did everything for this person to go stay two of cups. That there was a, but there's an equal give and take here. So they thought they had, they could control this King of Cups, but he ghosted somebody. Yeah. So that he could have an equal give and take with a two of cups situation. All right. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles. This is giving and receiving. Whatever connection somebody is coming towards on somebody on, it's the equal give and take of finances and love. Whatever this is. It's a perfect blending. Like I said, a good match. Okay? And somebody knows that. A king of swords could have messaged somebody and like, yo, yeah, he walked away. And traveled. And this got somebody scared because that means that there's going to be too much conflict. It's going to be a lot of conflict because somebody's being left somebody out in the cold. Queen of Pentacles. Or being left out in the cold. A Queen of Pentacles was very much so invested in the past to having this marriage or relationship. But they felt like they had the cause of delay for anybody else to come towards you. All right. So y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn or something like that. They wanted control over a situation. Somebody could have maybe wanted like you not to have options of love or something. Somebody could be a bank teller. Somebody has unfinished business in love with an air sign. But somebody could have been stalking this person at the gym. Return to sender times 10. Let's see. In the summertime, somebody was going too much. Mm. Your child's mother did not fail you and they not sorry Friday. Yeah, they got to make it up to you this lifetime. Like, somebody want to make somebody look like they such a fucked up individual, but they're not. That's why things is backfiring on these people. And you can trust somebody. They not your ops. Okay? Somebody else was, though. You know who you can trust and who you can't. Mm -hmm. Monday. Somebody about to have problems with Child Protective Services. A Leo. Because they low key jealous of you. Somebody doing something to somebody, even maybe even to a child, because they're jealous of you. So they're gonna have problems with you, you know. That's what, that's fucked up. <clears throat> Sunday. They was jealous of you on Sunday. Sunday was Father's Day. This person is a part of a cult. They salty as fuck. So it's like somebody could have been at war. Yup. It's like. This is even giving that energy where you are, like, somebody could be doing the most to you behind the scenes. Talking heavy shit about you. Trying to get people to go against you. Trying to be your op in every angle. And you still showing compassion to somebody that's like that. They feel salty as hell because they're about to lose everything for doing that to you. When you're at peace with somebody and there's common ground... Where respect somebody you respecting somebody and they're not respecting you, and they're they're it's like they feel smacked like it's like like okay, you know that energy of uh say you wouldn't expect this person to do something because you're at odds with them, right? Say somebody confirmation you didn't expect something to happen. That's why somebody like, they saw it as fuck Sunday. I don't know. This person, you could like honoring somebody, you know, even though they showed you the worst of them and they were being mean and trying to hurt you, spreading lies, finessing people, everything. And you still genuinely gave them respect. And that's why they in regret. They regret for even doing this. It's like, now we never like I 
Like somebody's going to wish in the near future, whoever this man is, that they were cordial with you. That they really didn't do all the shit that they did. Because it's like, and not just embarrassing, but it's like somebody's sense is like snapping out of something or something like you don't even see this person genuinely cared and you did all of this and even though you put 20 knives in their back they still honored you just imagine how that person feels you know what i'm saying like damn where once there was arrogance, there's no arrogance anymore. But that stubbornness in the reverse, they gonna realize they was just in their fucking ego to somebody that genuinely cared. Maybe them being a part of this organization got their head all fucked up. But they losing everything now. They wanted you to be the villain so bad. They wanted you to fight. Yeah, see, they wanted you to fight with them. Could be a Sagittarius that's all in their head and their feelings. Right now, we got J, first, last, middle, initial. Somebody's like, what could I have? I? They not going to think about what they could have done differently until it's too late because it's too late now. It's like you put your hands up and was like, you know what? I'm not about to... Um, if that's how you feel about me, I don't want to, I don't want you to feel like that. Let me remove myself. You know, that kind of energy. A, hey, Friday. So my name could be AJ. We got Leo. E in the summertime. Yeah, I'm telling you, these people, whoever these, this person is, they about to learn a hard lesson. You could be 100% heterosexual and you was the one they about to lose you for good because nobody is believing this karmic male lies anymore. They really wanted to be with you bad as hell. They could have told everybody they didn't, but they really did. And they went about it wrong. Instead of genuinely waiting it out, taking it slow. They like, oh, you worried about other options and you dating a bunch of people. You probably wasn't dating nobody. You just, you know, maybe was trying to give somebody time to heal. That's another energy I'm picking up. But somebody is heavily pissed right now. Because it's just all angles point to they were being extremely childish. And they don't know what to do about it. And they just was raging war with you because they were heartbroken. They raged war with their true love. This warfare is over. Your true love was supposed to be coming in. We got return to center to all involved, known or unknown. Okay, we had a white man or a woman. It could be significant here. So, it could be in the backfire. It's like, can you imagine this person being taunted by their own? <sighs> it's like, this is bad for whoever this is. I feel the energy. Like, when I tell you this person is like, I cannot believe I fucked this up. I sabotaged everything. Now it's going to be way too hard for me to even get a donation, get a dollar from this person. Because you're choosing peace. This person was so hell bent for years. Just rawr energy on you okay they would not give up they was for until they sabotaged something and that's what they did they just it was like you could have tried to compromise co-parent this person was so hell-bent on whatever they was feeling I don't know what this is this is like I don't care if I'm the last one standing I just want to fuck this up this energy where there was no conflict because all his wines is just standing around at this time. There could have even been an opportunity to rework or heal something with this individual, y'all. And they did something. That was the last straw, though. They know that it's going to be way too hard now.
Wow, yeah. All them hexes and curses backfired on them. If you read this, it's too late. Return to sender times 10 due to their belief systems. They hate your untraditional ways. I had a kind of, and I know this, if this is like a relationship, because they wanted you to give you, it said your child's mother failed you and they, in a reverse. So you never failed somebody. So say you was in a relationship or had kids with this person. Um, This person decided to be toxic and be a spiritual hater, right? Just cause you, your religious beliefs that say you're like, yeah, I don't think we should be together because, uh, we're not, you know, maybe we just weren't, you know, compatible for that. Like, but we can be co-parents and be real good friends. And that was another reason why they did this to you is because they like, I hate the fact that you didn't decide to be with this person. They hated you because you didn't want to be with them. They feel like you was a heartbreaker. Everybody wants you, but not everybody can have you, especially not even this person you got kids with. So they like, I'm going to destroy you, bitch, with my group. Whoever these uh, group members was, they had the support they needed. Right? They could have played a lot of mind games with you, mental games, emotional games, and everything. And everything just fell apart at the last minute. And they wanted it, they wanted you to be they wanted it to be too hard for you to heal something at work they wanted you to, wanted it to be too hard for you to heal your emotions it was an empty victory is what i'm saying it really was an empty victory cuz you walked away from the karmic you know like, i i can't you know you couldn't no more yeah this person wasn't afraid that you wasn't going to reject them so this is like this person could have been afraid or they were saying that they wasn't GPS tracking you, but they was NP. All right. Your VPN could be significant. They could have been using that. Somebody with a Toyota Mazda, uh, Subaru, BMW, Cadillac, Hellcat, or a charger, or um, if they wasn't using cell phone data to hack your phone or something like that, they could have been using your VPN. Okay, well, maybe it was cell phone data, okay, that they was using to hack y'all shit to, to track you. Okay? Or they was using, you know, maybe your VPN was blocked or something like that. Or they would use Bluetooth. Okay? Whoever this is. Somebody's mother. Want to know why they can't find somebody like you? Or why? what can they do to get you to trust them again? After trying to get you fired or put out of a house. Or making you homeless. The police is watching somebody. Because their spell work. They can't glamour people no more. So they like, well, if we don't have them, they feel like it's going to be way too hard. We did everything to sabotage their life. All right? And they like, now what we going to do? I'm telling you. It's like, instead of going the proper way about it, they decided to make you pay for something that was injustice. That's what I'm getting, y'all. A truck driver, solar plexus magic backfiring, and the feds is watching them. They got problems. For what they did a year ago, a, a Jamaican man, Trinidadian, or a Haitian person. Yeah, so this person, a truck driver, was confident at one point that, man, they wasn't, ain't nobody watching them. But they're for sure now, like, yeah, because something happened. Somebody could be really big into the textbook or the law. That's what I'm hearing as well. Maybe there's somebody like with the 48 laws energy kind of person or they can recite the law is what I'm hearing. But no, the feds is watching this person because they broke the law. Laws changed or something like that. And somebody broke the law and they in trouble now. A, with, yeah, with a karmic woman. It could be a karmic woman that's a truck driver. Take it as it resonates. We got a dad. Hmm. Yeah, they need a lawyer. Okay? Because they know they're never going to get this money by tomorrow. With this peaceful energy that you in, Earth Angel. Also, somebody, a truck driver's dad told them that you was a karmic woman, but you are Earth Angel.
and they don't feel bad for what they did to you. It was all purposely. So they don't have no regrets. So, and yeah, everybody didn't know how pressed somebody was about you, but now they do. This man was a practitioner that was just trying to block your path in life. And they are shook right now, whoever the male practitioner is. <clears throat> yeah, the male practitioner knows that you are the true empress. That's why they shook. You're really an empress. You're not a karmic. You're an earth angel. <laughs> yeah. Unfinished business in love with a water sign. Zaddy home, let him know. Thursday, cause some something about a Filipino man or a woman. Somebody walking, he walking away from the karmic. X and M, first, last, middle, initial. Somebody could have a silver, gold, white, gray, or yellow card. Somebody could have mental issues. Their root chakra magic backfired. Black man or a woman. Somebody uncle has a shortcut, deep waves, or a bald head, a woman. They can't believe they messed this up. Your uncle, girlfriend, they can't believe they messed this up. Alcohol addictions. They could have been trying to cause somebody alcohol addiction, addictions to affect their heart chakra or their heart, period. They know that you now, it, it didn't work. Maybe they know you connected to the all it is and all that will ever be in. They realized it was always a suicide mission. That's why everybody is caught up. They've realized leaving you behind was not the best thing for everybody involved. Because God was blocking all negative energy projections. So there was no way that they was going to be able to do this to you, Libra. They was protecting you. Okay? B. F. Okay? Maybe on Facebook. A Libra on Facebook or something about your Facebook. Or BF could be your first, last, middle, initial or whatever. But it's God was protecting you from these people. Okay? And they was blocking somebody negative energy. And even if this was that Libra that came up in the beginning of the reading, they was in the reverse. So this was like a toxic Libra that was doing something to y'all. All right? On Facebook. Hacking your devices is what I just heard. Okay? This person has a black, orange, red, or yellow, or purple, or blue card. They could be a Nigerian man or a woman, or they had that color card. <sighs> Unfinished business in love with a fire sign. All blockages are not removed in that connection. Somebody's in love with you for real, for real. Oh. But they and they created a mess, and they hope somebody can help them fix it. Because you're protected from all evil. They can't believe they messed this up, but it's your choices is the reason why they messed this up. Yeah, throat chakra magic is not working anymore. So if they try to do throat chakra magic, it don't work no more. It's blocking you from speaking your truth, you know. A Taurus. They know you wasn't from here. Okay. This person could be a CNA, RN, doctor, or anything to do with the medical field. A Nigerian man or a woman on the new moon, M, last weekend. They see you move past all the obstacles they put up for you. A sister sees balance and harmony being restored in every area of your life. They can't do dream magic on you no more. This man with dreads or braids, they can't get over you at all. Z, they want you to unblock them. Okay? So, I hope this helps. <laughs>